Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Last week, we did the, uh, the Reclaiming Last Territory exercises. And there's an expanded set that we're going to do tonight. So we're going to uh, spend a little less time talking about, about the nuts and bolts of it, how everything it works, and until we get to the, the, the stuff we didn't include last week. So we're going to go through the whole set again. And this time we'll have a uh, we'll add some uh, some additional items which are uh, have been incorporated through the various uh, iterations of the reclaiming lost territory. So uh, why don't you stand up and we'll uh, we'll do that. Good. All right. Yeah. Okay, so let's start by uh, getting a hip width stance and we're going to establish our central equilibrium, like we always do, just to make sure we got a full tank of gas before we start moving the chi around. So we want to get uh, we want to get our uh, our central equilibrium by feeling the balls of the feet. Knees are unlocked and you're having to weight more toward the balls of the feet. So you're having that sense of, it's like a dynamic posture. Reach with the crown of the head and tuck in the chin. So you're opening the jade pillow gate. Reach with the elbows and open the shoulder joints. Point with the index fingers. Relax your lower back. And Spiral down and really open up your hip joint so they you're getting the the qua is uh, nice and sung. So we won't spend a lot of time here in the um, in the central equilibrium or in the uh, three pillars. We just want to get the central equilibrium, energetic coherence, and the want to unkink the hose by by releasing the hip joints. The uh, opening the jade pillow gate and reaching with the elbows to open the shoulder joints so that we have energy already building up in the, in the, in the body mind and you're starting to feel it in your hands. Good. So now let's step forward with your right foot and we're going to do our qua exercise. And the idea here is to feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, so the knee's not moving at all, and all the action is happening from the quad. You're, you're just on the toe of your back foot, so your left foot is just very, it's almost empty. You just spiral down. Actually, before we do that, push away from the earth, so you actually feel yourself elevating, and then ah, release down, and you set the knee, and from there you turn, and we're just turning, keeping the hips and shoulders aligned, right? So they're moving together. Once you got that set, then you can you can let the arms swing easily, but you're not reaching with the arms. You're just allowing them to follow the natural movement of the torso as you turn. So what we're doing here is is we're working on on freeing up the hip joint getting sung qua you're able to settle down into the qua and if you find yourself kind of pushing away from the earth and take control of that push away and then spiral down again and turn so when we're turning we're not bobbing up it's not a up and down thing it is you're sinking and then you're just turning now we go to the back foot pick up feel the ball of your left foot you set the left knee pick up the heel of the front foot and push away and then uh, spiral down and turn. Again, all the actions happening here at the hip joints. So the left hip joint is the one who is doing all the work. And all it's not just the joint itself, but all the, the tissues around that. Everything is kind of moving in a cooperative fashion, very relaxed and very sunk. We're getting nice and soon. 
keep your the crown point of your head reaching upward and the jade pillow gate open. Go ahead now put your left foot forward and pick up your right heel. Feel the ball set the knee, push away and then spiral down and nice and easy. So all we're doing here is exploring the relationship between the foot, the knee and the quad, which then enables the rest of the body to relax because it is getting nice and uh, because we have a real stable foundation in the ball knee quad. And then go to your right foot, pick up your left heel, push away and spiral down and turn. Nice and easy. You want to feel like that hip joint is really loose and really lubricated, like it's on ball bearings. Okay, we're going to move quickly through these today since we covered a lot of this last week and uh, just so we can get everything in today. And now, um, your feet a little wider than hip width, knees are set. And you're going to reach up with the wrist, drop the elbows, shoulders are relaxed. And so as you're coming up, you're leading with the wrist, the elbows follow. And then you come down and one hand in front, the other hand in back and you spiral down into the quad as you do that. You're not pushing the knee forward. You're just nice and easy releasing. And you don't have to come up very high with the arms. The important thing is you're developing a relationship with your arm so that you're kind of disengaging the shoulder muscles from the uh, this simple action of raising the arms. And this is how we get the chi to flow freely into the, uh, you know, throughout the whole system. We're unkinking the hose at the shoulder. This is, uh, this exercise is called Sung Gong. It's basically just a, it's a Sung exercise. It's, can we learn to release extraneous muscular tension and re uh, relax into the intrinsic structure? of the body mind. Good. And here's a here's a, another variation on the Sung Gong. It's you reach up with your right hand and then down and then up with your left hand and back and forth like that. Same idea here is you're reaching up with the wrist and then down with the elbow and your boom. You're going like that and you're sinking into your quad as you do that. You're feeling the ball, setting the knee, and again, this is just another way of getting the arms and shoulders nice and relaxed. And so you can actually feel more uh, uh, chi movement and consequently your ability to use chin increases whenever you get the, the shoulder muscles out of the picture. So we're just learning to really letting the body get, get the idea that it doesn't have to initiate movement from the shoulder. We're actually reaching up with the wrists. Notice that the fingers are hanging as, it, as the wrist comes up and then ah, coming down. And the arms are very heavy as we do that. Okay, moving on. Um, uh, here we go. Here's one we didn't do last week, uh, side to side. And the idea here is that you reach out and open your shoulder joint, your, all the joints in your arms as you reach out and feel the, 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 um, uh, going all the way down your leg, feeling that connection all the way down your leg. And then you shift over to 
the other side and you're going back and forth like this, nice and relaxed and arms are very soft and opening, creating space in the joints. And you're also feeling, you know, the, the connections down your torso, down in, you know, connect your arms to your legs as you do this. Good. Okay. Now we're going to open the jade pillow gate. So lift the chin and reach down with the chin, pivoting at the topmost vertebra, your atlas. Good. Now uh, roll the head. Exploring your range of motion. And go the opposite direction. Good. Uh, turkey head. Just push your face forward and pull back. So you're, again, you're pivoting at that topmost vertebra, your atlas. And profile. Just like this. You're freeing up a lot of neck tension and shoulder tension by doing this. Um, reach out with your, your right arm, reach your head to the left and kind of move that around and move your arm around and kind of really explore, opening up the uh, connective tissue, opening up the muscles and really feeling that lengthening there. And the other side. Good. Okay. Now we're going to roll down. And the idea here is to just really isolate under the uh, on each individual vertebra as you're going down. So you're keeping the ones underneath stacked up. As we go down, starting with the with the cervical vertebrae, there are seven of those. So you just let that go. Your knees are bent. Now you can take a lot longer on this. We're not going to spend a lot of time today. So now we're going to the thoracic vertebrae. Starting at the bottom of your neck there and then working your upper back. You got 12 of these guys. You're feeling the support of underneath and you're just allowing the weight of your head to uh, draw the, the, the spine down, let it unfold. Now go to the lumbar vertebrae, the big ones at the bottom. You got five of those. Good. 
Yeah, now straighten your knees and draw, allow your torso just to pull your body down. Some people are going to be more flexible than others. Don't worry about it. Just, just to let your, your head and your torso, just use that to lengthen your legs. Each time you inhale, come up a little bit and then exhale, drop a little bit more. If you're really super flexible and your hands are already down to the ground, just hold them up like this. You're still allowing the weight to do the work for you. Each time you inhale, come up and then exhale, drop that a little more. Good. Now bend the knees, sit down and slowly come up, stacking up the vertebrae. Start with your lumbar. Your thoracic. And now your cervical. And pause for a moment, just feel into that. And a hand comes up, hands come up, and arch your back, open your chest, open your shoulders, allow the weight of your arms to just kind of pull down. And coming up and round your back. Inhale, arch your back, open, and exhale, round your back. And I'm knocking on the door. Open your chest, open your shoulders. If any of these, uh, you want a, a deeper explanation of that, just go back to last week's and uh, you'll get a, a more lengthy description of what's going on. Good, let them hang. Just let your arms hang. You can move them around, whatever it just takes to kind of just let the muscles, the connective tissue just kind of empty out, untangle the weight of your arms will do the, uh, do the work for you. Just feel the energy, feel the circulation in your arms and your hands. Okay, now let's do uh, big circles. Inhale, reach up with your elbows, your wrists, uh, arch your back, open, inhale, and then exhale, coming down, bending the knees, sinking, and then inhale, arch the back, and exhale, sink. Inhale and exhale. And reverse it. Inhale, arch the back, exhale, round the back, sink down, and inhale and exhale.
close. Just let them hang for a moment. Let's come up and out to the side. We're doing small circles now. Bring your shoulder blades together and back. Elbows are dropped. And very small circles with your, with your arms. So we're opening the chest, opening the shoulders. And we're rehabilitating the rotator cuff with these. And palms up, go the other way. Key part of this is the reaching out. You're lengthening and extending. It's not locking, but you're, you're, there's a sense of uh, extending. And what that does is it it allows you to, to establish a, a, a more tensegrity in your connective tissue and relax. Let them hang. And as a note, the exercise I showed you earlier, the, the side to side, this is probably where I would ordinarily put it in the uh, in the movements, I put it right after the uh, after the small circles. Okay, now we're going to do uh, heaven and earth, and you bring your hands under the, uh, the your dantian, palms up. And as you inhale, you draw the hands up and then turn your palms upward, reach upward, and we're lifting the sky. Actually, oh, I'm sorry, this was heaven and earth. We're doing lifting the sky. That's what I meant to say. Sorry about that. Uh, lifting the sky. We're pushing up, sinking down. As you push up, you hold your breath for a moment and then exhale and reach down. Inhale, point, reach, open the joints. Lengthen your arms and then exhale. Inhale, coming up. Hold, sink into your legs, your quad, reaching and pressing up. You're lifting the sky and then exhale. Inhale, point, reach, open the joints. Feel the chi in your arms as you establish that tensegrity. And then exhale. One more, inhale. And hold as you press up, lift the sky. Exhale. Inhale, point, reach, open the joints. Relax. Allow that energy to circulate for a moment. Now we're gonna do embracing the moon. Bow forward, let your arms reach down. And then as you inhale, reach forward with your, with your arms, hands coming up. And hold the moon in your hands, arch your back and hold your breath. Exhale, 
reaching out. Yeah. Oh, we have a question. The lifting the sky. Yes. Scott would like to know what you're doing here. What's it for? What's okay. It for? Lifting the sky. Uh, so going back to that one. So what we're doing here is so we're gathering. So like you feel the you know the the substantiality of the space or the air. You're pressing down on your hands as you're coming up. You're gathering. And then when you go up here, you're rotating, you're reaching up, lengthening your, you're reaching up, lengthening the tissues in your arms as you reach up with the, uh, with the palms pressing upward and at the same time sinking down. So we've got these, these poles in opposition here. You got the yang chi of the heavens and we got the yin chi of the earth. And we're feeling that gathering in the in the in the body and then ah oh, we let it go we reach out and so there's a, a pulse there it's really good for the torso it's like a torso stretch yeah it lengthens lengthens the torso and you're really establishing two poles here you got you're, you're doing two very important things you're sinking down so that's establishing that yin foundation you're reaching up and that's that yang extension and so we're creating this this bellows of uh, this energy bellows where we're we're pumping and making that stuff happen good okay moving on so we've got uh, embracing the moon we're embracing the moon so same idea we're we're linking what we're adding into it though is we're uh, we're flexing and extending our spine in it. So we're going down like this. And then as we come up, we're reaching out and uh, we're extending upward, but we're doing it also with a, with this bowed back, right? And feeling that, feeling that lengthening of the, uh, of the spine as we do that. And again, we're holding on, we're establishing our root with with our uh, you know through our feet so that we got this heavy yin foundation there and extending our chi down into the earth at the same time we're oh we're reaching up and we're holding the moon in our hands and then then you you pause for a moment up here and like you're you're with that you're ah oh, you're, you're you're grabbing it right you're and that that whole thing together you're developing a tolerance for that much energy, the big chi, as you're doing that. So here we go. So we're bow forward, inhale, reach out. Your knees are bent as you do this. You're reaching out and you get up to here. You hold the moon in your hands and you arch your back and reach. Hold your breath. Feel the floor through your feet, reach up to the sky and then exhale. Ah, coming down, extending outward. And then we're opening the joints again. We're pointing and reaching. That creates that energetic coherence throughout the whole system. You're, you're activating your connective tissue system. And then we do it again. Exhale and bow. Inhale. Reach as you come up and hold the moon and exhale so notice that you're when you're reaching out inhale and reach down you're feeling it in your feet it's not just a sh arm shoulder thing there's a whole body thing there you're feeling it in your feet you're feeling that extension through the earth. And then one more, we'll go down. Inhale, reaching. Hold, arch the back, extend, and exhale. So now she just creates some spinal flexibility. Inhale. 
in addition to giving you Boku Chi. And then pause and just allow yourself to feel into the, uh, the energy that's circulating. Feel your whole body getting that uh, uh, expanded tensegrity, the whole body energetic connection. And you're expanding your comfort zone in terms of your range of motion when you do that. Okay, now uh, let's do, a, we'll do heaven and earth now. Okay, so the uh, hands come up and reach up with your right hand, press down with your left, sink into your, your claw, sink into your feet, reaching, extending, opening the joints and exhale, hands come down, inhale. So we're poles in opposition. We're generating lots and lots of energy as we hold these poles in opposition. And we let it go. And then we create some more energy. And then we let it go. Really want to feel that extension, that opening, that lengthening of your tissues and your arms, your torso, your shoulders. Good. Now you're going to come up and then turn to the right, reaching up with the right hand, pressing up with the right hand, pressing down with the left as you, as you spiral. And then you come back to center. And then you spiral to the left, reaching and extending and back to center. And then reaching, lengthening. Good. Now take a step out and to the right and then reaching, lengthening as you sink into your claw, sink into your arm, you pivot on your heel and coming out and lengthening. So you're really feeling that, the, you notice how the knee is not pushed too far forward. It's, it's still vertical. The, you're reaching out as you do that and Turning the other side. Really lengthening your body. And then back to center. And now inhale as you, your palms are facing toward the back. Feel the, your, get your three pillars in, reaching out with the elbows and you're going to rotate your forearms, spread the fingers out. You've got a nice, you're really feeling that expansion in your hands. You rotate your forearms so the palms come forward and then come back. Inhale, so to feel that, uh, that rotation and exhale, rotating back. Reaching with your little fingers as you turn, as you open and reaching with the thumbs as you, as you turn back. Feel the fingernails as if you're, you're like a cat with your fingernails extended, your claws extended. And what we're doing is we're really getting some uh, liver chi 
some wood chi as we as we do this. And you can feel a whole lot of energy building up in the forearms and in the hands as you as you create this motion. And uh, pause and just feel into the stillness now. Is there a question there? Uh, Richard wants to know for rotating our shoulders. Uh, Shoulders are very relaxed. There will be, your arm is gonna rotate, but it's, you're not using your shoulder muscles. You just, um, well, it, you're, I guess you are using it, but they're, they're very relaxed as you do that. So the shoulders are, you know, the, the motion, there's no attention. It's not like you're, uh, you're driving it. You're, it's like your hands are leading the parade and it's happening through the shoulders rather than by the shoulders. Uh, cool, so let me see what else was on that list. Okay, so uh, um, uh, next thing is to uh, find a piece of a vertical surface like a door. I'll do it with the door over here. I think it might be easier. No, it's not easier to see. Over here is better. Okay, there we go. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, what you do is you put your heels against the wall, your butt against the wall, shoulder blades, and you reach up with the crown of your head. So everybody find a vertical surface like that, and you just hang out there for for a minute. And you knees are unlocked. You're feeling the balls of your feet, so you're in your central equilibrium reaching up with the crown of your head. So notice that my head is not touching the wall. It's aligned with the center of my foot. So you want to feel that release there. You're adjusting to verticality. You're letting your body know what it feels like to be vertical because for most people, most people lean backward. There's a, the weights in the heels and they lean backward. And this is a way of, of letting you know how much, how much farther forward you have to go to get back to center. To correct, you have to actually, most people will feel like they are pitching forward whenever they're actually vertical. So this takes some time to recalibrate your proprioception, the proprioception of your body mind to adjust to this, to true verticality. So now, reach with your elbows, reach with your wrist and reach out with your arms while still keeping your your shoulder blades against the against the wall as you're reaching out there. And notice what it takes to, to keep that verticality with your arms in front of you. And then hands come down and go back and adjust to your just find your 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 verticality again, your central equilibrium. And do it again, reach out with the wrists. You don't have to come up very high with your hands. You can just, you're just reaching out. The idea is that you've got this rather significant extension in front of you. And with it, there's, there's a, a certain amount of compensation your body's gonna do. And ordinarily, what's gonna happen is if I ask someone to pick up their arms, what they're gonna do is they're gonna lean backward 
to balance that out so they can they can feel balanced but they in doing so they've lost their root but if i'm if you step out away from the wall now and you get your you feel your verticality and then you reach up and so you're feeling that connection with the balls of your feet you're reaching forward and your body is now recalibrating so that it has this effective power out here and while maintaining the energetic connection that you get from central equilibrium and bring your hands down. And so what we don't want is this kind of swaying as you bring your arms up. You want to keep that your central pillar as you as you reach out. And come down. And then step back and go against the wall again. And ha, ah, recalibrate. So we're doing this over and over again to reset our proprioception. And this is a good thing to do a few times a day if you can, because we have a tendency to go back into old habits really quickly. So that is. So that's a set. So then you step in, take a deep breath, and exhale. As you exhale, press down and disappear the chi. Throw it away. Allow the big chi to circulate through unhindered. Take a seat, please. How was that? Good, 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 good. So you can mix and match, you know, there's, there's a whole bunch of, you know, alternate exercises you can, you can throw in there and, uh, um, you know, you can spend more time on any one uh, if you, if you like, but there's, uh, each of them has, has something to say. Valerie, you had something? I really appreciated, um, you know, last week going in depth uh, to each of the exercises and again this week uh, because there were sensations that I was able to experience that I can't, I was missing, you know, such as the, and, and you've probably said it before, but I didn't catch it. Um, and, you know, I plan on visiting <laughs> last week and this week again, you know, just because, like I said, there were many sensations like uh, reaching up, really extending up and reaching down at the same time, getting that uh, poles in opposition. I, I just, I didn't hear that before. So, uh, I really liked it. Thank you. You bet. It's, it's super powerful. The, uh, that, that heaven and earth, thing, because, you know, you're really plugging into the big chi and, and, and also if you're, as you're holding it there, you're, you know, you're taking a moment and, and you're freezing it in, in, in the body mind, allowing it to, uh, to, to build up so that you're saying, oh, this is how much I can hold even more than I thought I could. And then, then you let it go. And you, you, it gives the body mind also a, the recognition that it doesn't have to hang on to anything. That there's this, we can, we can you know, ebb and flow with the, uh, with the energy and we don't have to hold on to it because that vitality is available to us virtually infinitely you know with our connection with the uh with with the universe scott um first uh, yeah the i know you've said it before but the focusing on the fingernails are really that one really got that one really really amped that one up cool and it doesn't have uh, to be just that one exercise you can do that 
in any of these, you know, because mm, anytime you get that, that you're, you're going to get a, a nice dose of wood chi, and that's going to, it uh, is great for the connective tissue system, is great for the liver. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good stuff. And the, um, on the side to side one, you didn't really mention it, but you got to kind of make sure you're not like, Losing your balance as losing your balance as you're reaching, you know, reaching and then kind of you need to stay in that. That's, that's a very yeah. good point. You really want to establish your central equilibrium, even though you're reaching, even though the body is reaching out. You know, if you're you're extending out to the side, you know, you're you're like this. You you want to your central equilibrium is still here, even though the arm is going out like that. You're still you still got your your nice and plumb there. So it's not a, uh, even if you're reaching out very far, you still have that central equilibrium. You're still, you're anchored into the earth, whatever, whatever you do that. And that allows you more range of motion. And um, the last, the last thing, uh, um, when we're standing up against the wall, are we really not concerned about the rest of our back and our legs touching the wall at all or? Right. Really not too, really just the three points? Just the three points. Okay. The heels, the butt, and the shoulder blades. And uh, so, uh, you know, and then you, you get your, your reach. If you're reaching up with a crown, you're lengthening the spine. So you're, you're, you're establishing that true central pillar whenever you do that. Because I found that I found that I really had to uh, release you know, make my, get my hips to be level for it to be comfortable like that. And that's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tilt my hips forward. So I realized that, yeah, I definitely am not, definitely need some work on that one. So I'll be standing against the wall for a while. Good. good. No, you make a good point there. And that's something I try to cover in the, you know, whenever we're doing the three pillars is like, you want to level out your pelvis, you know, and uh, um, so, uh, but you, you, you want to completely flatten out the back so that you're pressing your lumbar against the wall because then that that becomes more of an effort, you know, and you kind of it, it goes it takes it a little bit too far. You want to just nice and relaxed and be able to to find that place where your body, you know, is is able to uh, to make the necessary connections that give you a real sense of support. Cool. Anybody else? Jonathan. So I've been doing that bend over thing with you for, I don't know, decades now, but it's really only been the last couple of weeks, last two weeks, that I realized how much more tension there is to let go of in the arms. But it feels so like I've just died or something. I mean, it's such a dead weight. And I guess, you know, I've lived 69 years. I, I just always have my arms in the ready. So the, the sensation of arms as a dead weight is actually alarming. And yet it adds weight to the whole, it actually helps my whole process of bending and everything else. But I'm wondering if you, did you have an existential moment with <laughs> feeling your arms hanging down as just dead weight or just, you know, that loose? Uh, for, for me, it's not an existential moment. No, but I find it more liberating. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I, I can see it. I, I mean, always in the ready, but I, I just can't believe the bucket load, the shipload of tension there is always there to let go because, I mean, you're walking along, your arms aren't going to be used for anything. You're hanging down, your arms are definitely not going to be used for anything. And yet they're still engaged as if we're about to do something. Even as I'm bending over, just in, and that's just, I guess that okay, it was like an illumination to me that how much that, 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 I'm always holding. You know. That that's great to hear because it's what you know when you're you're letting it unwind, you know, and it's yeah. it, it's it's incredibly liberating to to yeah. to do that because uh, most people you know are like are like you you're there 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 there's a lot of tension in the shoulders that has been unobserved for decades and to like, oh, you know, to be able to let that go. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, you are miles ahead because you're actually able to notice it. You know, <laughs> and it's, it's uh, 
you have to put yourself in these awkward positions in order to be able to realize like, oh, oh, something's wrong here. You know, I'm, 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 I'm doing something that, I'm doing something more than I need to. It'll oh. probably, probably make his tennis shot better too. Yeah, a lot there. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> cool. Anybody else? Okay. Well, thank you all so much. This was fun. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.